Yes, it's that time again. Back for another season of Friday Night Football here on WMUR. We'll be following all the action through the playoffs to see who will be crowned state champions in all four divisions. The journey, of course, starts tonight with week one. Of course, you know we've got a lot of games to get into with highlights and scores. Let's get it going with our game of the week, a D1 matchup between Bedford and Nashua North. Bedford was a playoff team last season. North trying to make it there this season. The Titans get off to a good start, up 3-0. In the red zone to start the second quarter, Derek Finley slings it to Amario Monte. He wants the end zone, he gets there. After the missed PAT, it was a 9-0 lead for Nashua North. Keep an eye out for Toby Brown Jr. The Nashua senior was a force on defense. He got to the quarterback multiple times tonight. Bedford's defense also made some plays. This is Kevin Sheridan with the strip and fumble recovery to put Bedford in Titan territory. And then we'll see the QB, Danny Black, going to the sideline to find his man, Dom Tags, putting the Bulldogs inside the 10, but the Titan defense steps up again. Jack Peters forces a fumble, and guess who's there for the scoop and score? Toby Brown, Jr. Nashua North gets the job done on their home field, winning 19 to seven. All right, the Winnicott Warriors and the Dover Green Wave. We start you with some third quarter action. Dover leading 7-0. Some defense from the Green Wave. Kyle Merrill gets the sack. How about some offense from Dover? Ryder Aubin dropping back. Nothing, nothing. Okay, just pull it down and make something happen. One tackle, two tackles, three. Just get off me. What a run for Ryder Aubin. And yeah, he knows it too. Making sure the defense knows it. That home crowd also loving it for the Green Wave. The junior Aubin saying, don't sleep on my arm either. I can get it done through the year. He finds Brett Davis for the TD. Dover goes up 14-0 after that. Winnicott and needing some offense. Warriors quarterback Connor Finland getting some yards with this run. But late in the game, it's pretty much sealed with this INT from Brady McGinnis as he's falling on his back. An impressive week one victory for the Green Wave, 14 to nothing. All right, the defending Division I champs, Londonderry at Concord. The Lancers looking strong once again, winning 34 to 24. How about Alvern at Spalding, the Red Raiders with a huge opening week W, 36-13. Red Raiders over 350 rushing yards, led by Hunter Truman with 150 yards and two scores. Emmett Colby had 75 yards and two TDs. A real solid effort from their defense as well. All right, the D2 champs from last season, the Timberlane Owls, made the move up to D1 hosting Manchester Memorial. Nothing changing. Timberlane with the win, 41-13. QB, Dominic Capetta had two rushing touchdowns, and the freshman, Leon Corman, also adding two rushing touchdowns. Portsmouth Oyster River in Exeter, the Blue Hawks of Exeter winning it 31-14. Evan DeLore took the opening kickoff for a touchdown. Evan Pafford with two TD passes to Ryan Graney and Connor McGinley. All right, Salem and Manchester Central over at Gill Stadium. First quarter, Central gets on the scoreboard first. A nice pass from Leon Murphy to Dewan Tyler Fulce, who beats the corner for six. Salem exploded in the second half. This is Justice Casado on a mission. A 30-yard TD run for the Blue Devils. Then the quarterback shows he's got the speed too. Nolan Lumley fakes out the defenders for a huge gain. A strong second half by the Blue Devils carries them to a 35-7 win. Merrimack making the trip to Maine to play Bonnie Eagle. Second quarter, Cam Marcel the screen pass to Trevor Perkins, who takes it down near the goal line for Bonnie Eagle. All right, the next play, Perkins gets the score. 19-7 Bonnie Eagle at the half. The Scots would take a 26-7 lead before Merrimack came back. Trent Jackson over the middle to Owen Sadowski for the TD. Emilio Hyde had a TD run for Merrimack as well, but Bonnie Eagle winning this one. 33 to 27. All right, let's switch over to D2. The Milford Spartans had a really good 2021 campaign, ending just one win short of a state championship, losing to Timberlane by three points in the championship. They owe to John Stark tonight. Let's take it to Milford, one of the top plays of the night. Pay close attention. You'll see John Stark punting. It'll be Charles Erter on the receiving end. He fumbles it. No problem, though. He picks it up immediately, makes his move, and he's heading toward the left sideline, and nobody is catching him. Charles Erta, the senior, is gone untouched for six. That gave the Spartans a 27-0 lead in the second quarter. Another highlight from Milford. 
Be Harris Jones dropping back, tosses it up. On the other end of it is Colton Tisbury. Go up and get it. In the Milford defense, we'll see Michael Lima with the INT for the Spartans. Getting some yards after that. Milford winning this one 27 to 16. Chris Kostafis, 113 yards rushing in a touchdown. Chuck Erter, a 75 yard punt return or a touchdown. Let's head to Dover for Merrimack Valley and St. Thomas. An offensive struggle in this one. Scoreless at the half of Merrimack Valley making something happen in the third thanks to the legs of the QB. Buddy Edie. And it's Edie again rolling out out of the pocket. Seems like he wants to run, and I'm sure this is what they wanted all along. Tosses it to Mike Heaney for the touchdown. 6 0 Merrimack Valley. All right, fourth quarter. So St. Thomas needs to respond. Another highlight worthy play. Michael Scoron dropping back and just throw it up. Devin Paquetti is there. Goes up all over the defender. And then Michael Scoron doing it himself. Finding the end zone to tie it up at six. This game went to OT and St. Thomas wins at 12. Not a great finish ending with the walk off touchdown. Some more scores. Hollis Brookline at Hanover. Hanover, the winner in this one, 35. To six. How about Guilford Belmont at Kennett? The Golden Eagles winning 28 to 19. Four touchdowns from Isaiah Reese, the QB, with a great night. All right, Lebanon at Laconia. Lebanon made it to the D2 semifinals last season. The Sachems coming out strong in the first quarter. Captain Drew Hosmer punches it in for the rushing touchdown for the 7 0 lead. Laconia driving again. This time, Hosmer is stuffed by Lebanon's Tanner Ames. The nice tackle for a loss. A big play here from Laconia's defense. Lebanon's Sawyer Blalu tries to find an opening, but it'll be hard getting past Keaton Beck this season. 6-6, just a junior, forcing the fumble, and Laconia recovers. The very next play, the big man does it on offense too. Logan Sanchez, just throw it up to Beck. Hard to stop a 6-6 receiver. 14-0 Laconia. Beck had three catches, 74 yards, two touchdowns. We'll be seeing him all season. I'm pretty sure the Sachem's rolling to a 41-6 victory. Pelham, another team taking a jump. The Pythons going to D2 after winning their second straight D3 title. Pelham looking good tonight, winning 35-7. Jake Travis and Ethan Demons each had eight carries and rushed for a touchdown. All right, Epping Newmarket at Campbell. Campbell was a D3 state playoff team. The Cougars looking locked in. Scott Hersberger gets the direct snap. Some trouble handling it, not a problem though. Just pick that thing up and go, leaving the trail of defenders along the left sideline. He's not even touched. This was the first game of the night, so the first touchdown of the season. Campbell up 8-0 after the two-point conversion. Still in the first. Guess what? Scott Hersberger is trying to make sure you know his name tonight. They give it to him again, this time to the right side. He's not touched again. It's a personal track meet for number 5, 16 0 Cougars after this and the two-point attempt. And at this point, Hersberger is looking like a cheat code on the field. Why not give it to him again? He takes it up the middle, follows the blocks. You know how the rest goes. On the defense that he's just too fast. His third TD in one quarter, 24-0 Cougars. All right, number five for Epping Newmarket. Aiden Russell with a nice run. Campbell cruising, though, 38-8 for the W. Scott Hersberger, three TDs, over 250 yards rushing. Kearsarge Cougars at the Conval Cougars. It was the Cougars from Kearsarge winning 36-21. And Fall Mountain at Monadnock. The Huskies in a blowout, 34-0. Kingswood at Trinity, Bobby Kinsella, 189 yards, two touchdowns, Jack Service with 101 yards and two scores, and Devin, Devon Ellis had a 45-yard punt return for a score and a 47-yard reception touchdown. And a reminder, you can watch all of our Friday night football shows on our website, WMUR.com, and click on sports. All right, we're joined by our sports director, Mike Cronin. Mike, week one is in the books. Every week, there's always those names that stand out to us. Yeah. I've, I've got a notepad. I wrote down a couple <laughs> names. Scott Hersberger, three TDs. Isaiah Reese, four TDs. So I'm going to have a list throughout the year. We'll see who, who I add. So note to the players. Good names <laughs> on that list. One name that's on my list is Keaton Beck for Laconia. This guy is 6'6", yeah. six, six, a junior. I talked to his coach tonight. Yeah. I said, where did you find this guy? He's 6'6". Six, six. Uh, he had three catches, 74 yards, two touchdowns, also uh, a fumble, forced a fumble in recovery, so Laconia beat Lebanon in that game, 41-6. to Keaton Beck, I'm adding you to the list, too. Yeah. That's a big kid. <laughs> Just one of many. Three names we got there and yes. many more to come this season. For sure, no for sure.